It's a fitness fact that is hard to swallow. My next guest says your exercise routine could be sabotaging your metabolism. David Johns from Total Health and Fitness is here with what makes up a well-designed workout problem program. Excuse me, it's always good to have you. It is a problem, though, if our exercise is counteracting our goals. You're specifically speaking to a certain age group of women. Yeah, we've, we've uh, had a lot of, of questions come in about, hey, I've seen your success stories, but can you help somebody my age? Especially with perimenopausal or postmenopausal women, a lot of people just feel, well, am I just, do I have to resign myself to just gaining weight because of my hormonal changes? And the answer is? No, absolutely not. Good. So, That's well, the answer we wanted to hear. Yeah. I mean, we just need people to get educated on the appropriate type of exercise. So you say the problem is these women are hopping on treadmills and running it out for an hour, an hour and a half. Why is that a problem? Because that can just help exacerbate the muscle loss. So after age 30, the average woman is losing three to five percent of her muscle mass every decade. And what that does to her metabolism is slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. So a lot of times the weight gain that people assume is because of hormonal changes uh -huh. is also self-inflicted because they're doing the poorly designed program. So we've got to be lifting, put a, little, put a little weight behind that. Yeah, yeah. So we have to have the right types of exercises and doing a lot of cardio can actually make that go faster as far as the muscle loss. You don't want to be doing excess cardio. You're great about helping clients approach the whole picture. So exercise and nutrition, what's the nutritional takeaway for someone in this age group? So, so let's say somebody's worried about muscle loss, so they start doing more resistance training. They have to realize that resistance training only stresses the body. It does not build muscle unless the calories are there to help it do that. So specifically, like with, with peri or postmenopausal women and that muscle loss being such an issue, there's a, an amino acid, leucine, that's gonna be found in beef, soybeans, nuts, seeds, I mean, lots of good sources. They need to make sure that they're including a lot of those sources to help recover from the workouts. There's a lot to learn, there's a lot to know. You suggest people set up a consultation just to see what their health and nutritional options are. Yeah, I mean, it, it's no cost. It's the first step, come in, get your questions answered and see what we can do to help you out. Well, and proof's in the picture. You're helping a lot of women, a lot of men, to get yeah. healthy, get fit, and really live the life that they've wanted to for a while. So where can we get more information about your program? So you can go to totalhealthandfitness.com. We also have a blog post that's going to summarize about the omegas and about, about the amino acids and okay. all the things that women can be doing. We'll link you over to that blog post from our website to make it easy. David, thank you so much. Thank you. That does